another Sunday evening walk just the two of us we already have been here plenty of times showing you this area this is the complex of the basically two uh, vocational high schools uh, this is the this is the hairdressing school and behind connected to this building is the let's say mechanics mechanical so it used to be for heavy mechanics because you know there was a factory Litostroy but now they still have a one program but most of the programs are directed into computer stuff so this is the the second school building with a gym for both this is in front of us is a student dormitories and there so one two one two buildings and this building in front of us is the i think old this is the old dormitories and this smaller one-story building that you can barely see best system is the self-service restaurant now i just wanted to show you this building which i featured it before already and i think that i said that it's a new hotel built right on the end of our street well road but it's not it's actually another apartment building that has grown and of course it's upscale luxury apartments so location is let's say okay not the ideal you know because on the one side of the road you still have industrial zone the restaurant and the student dormitories flanking it but on the other hand it's the last building on the road and you have quite a good view on the Stegner field which is just across and mountains so this is the new building and what is interesting about this building I think it's finished from the outside inside they have to know finished it but it's interesting that it's gated so fenced in which is quite um, unusual in Slovenia Lizzie so as you can see Lisa is playing her goat role but yeah so entrance into the subterranean basement parking garage and most likely this will be the storage for the bicycles or yeah most likely for bicycles i i assume that they will not store their trash containers here outside and i believe this shall also will be garage boxes so yeah as you can see from here now the greenery starts okay behind these trees is the uh, freeway but yeah across the freeway is the stegne field which is a awesome ridna so yeah the stegne field which we have already shown you several videos 
of Lisa going there. But yeah, so they planted last month, I think, the trees. So a little bit of more greenery for them, a little bit more privacy for the new owners. And of course, the, it will dampen a little bit of sound for this um, connecting road from the freeway. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, if I correct it. 14 uh, stories. And behind the red building is the dormitories. And another thing that this is quite unusual for our they built playground for the children apparently they are expecting so ventilation device I don't know what this facility will be most likely some sort of maintenance or probably some electricity and yeah, the whole view of the children spray playground. So yeah, last month when we were passing on our walk, it was again yeah, on Sunday. Usually yeah, we go here on Sunday evenings. And they were, I think, they were doing something here with the soil, and I think they were also planting some grass. And speaking about grass, you know, sometimes it gets stuck. Right, yeah. And there is a playing ground or recreational ground for the students you know the Tarzan swings of course now when there are holidays basically nobody's here and so as you can see well here Hopefully you can hear Basically there are two rows of trees and bushes be uh, between us when now only one So a whole day whole night You basically can Hear the traffic. I hope that you can see so yeah And on the other side is the Stegner field. Uh, I also wanted here, yeah, while talking about construction, recently it came out that the prices in Ljubljana had reached the new all-time high. There is some mosquito flying around my head and so uh, all-time high so now on average for every square meter of used uh, housing or apartment whatever you have to pay around 1900 euros so almost 2000 euros for a square meter of living space here while the all the new buildings new apartments 
they usually go between uh, 2500 to 3000 plus so basically the yeah you can all hear how the traffic it's quite uh, let's say noticeable so basically uh, which means that the, the cost for used old uh, buildings apartments is basically almost as two-thirds almost as high as cost for the new apartments so yeah this is our housing situation here in Ljubljana one of the problems is that all the new apartment buildings that are being constructed all are basically upscale you know, luxury apartments and ordinary people cannot afford to buy them or even rent them so yeah that's the situation with the housing here so it will be quite prominent building this new apartment complex well building Fui Fui Lizzie and yeah here behind not the best view uh, the former well they still there are still some people living here you know shacks or they there they, they uh, here it, it used to be basically a colony of these um, very rudimentary shacks or one story buildings meant for um, foreign workers working at the factory at Litostroy then after the 1991 war it was used to house refugees and now basically there are still some people living here in one of the in, in the better buildings while the most buildings were already demolished Pemo Pemo and now I think there is also a trucking company based here so you know it's basically a huge parking lot and different machines as you can see so those who will have apartments on this side they will not be quite pleased with uh, their view and now we have the better look at the freeway that runs around Ljubljana Lizzy, Lizzy. so quite noisy so at this point we will say goodbye because most likely you will not or you can't hear me further so thanks for watching and we will see you later bye